Hello everyone, this is Adam from Mufi.com and today we're going to play the Halo 5 Beta. It's finally been released and hopefully the servers are working. After the disappointed launch of this game, I highly doubt it, but you know, anything's possible. With 2014 almost coming to an end, and things not going as well as a lot of people thought, especially me with Assassin's Creed completely fumbling and Halo, one of my favorite franchises of all time, completely falling over. Things aren't looking so hot, but 2015 is a lot more hopeful with games like Evolved and The Division coming up. Especially Evolved, I played the demo and uh, the alpha. If you saw my gameplay footage, it's pretty interesting. And the new footage of uh, the new creature, I believe it's a wraith, and the new map type where you protect Goliath eggs. It's pretty interesting. I loved it. Well, I love the Alpha. I played it during the Alien World convention on one of their new systems. It run, it ran so amazingly. I also destroyed them, which was surprising seeing that I play predominantly on a console. The second I hopped onto one of those machines, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get screwed. But I didn't. Okay, how long is this gonna take? Hopefully it doesn't take long. And no, that is not a fake number. I have 87% of my storage used, mostly for games with gold and other things wow this is gonna take forever i bet for such a powerful console you would expect hey let this load a little quicker maybe i'm just gonna cut forward so cut forward and it's finally ready so let's start this up hill five guardians multiplayer beta and they look like they belong on a poster why the hell does he have a railgun? Uh, whatever. It might be a default weapon. Hopefully it isn't. Alright, let's see. How long is this going to take to load? It took forever to download. So let's see if it's worth it. And hopefully the servers are working. I already touched on this, but you know how 343 has been. At least they gave us a nice, uh, we're sorry present. Halo ODST Remastered without firefight. Which I guess is okay. I loved Halo ODST. I didn't like Halo 3. I'm sorry to say that I really didn't like it. The final ending with the whole Warthog situation was just a recycled uh, mechanic from the first Halo. It was so disappointing. I don't care what people say. It was epic. It was granular. It was horrible. I wanted to fight the Gravemind. That's what I wanted. Not a single boss fight in Halo 3. And it's the same feeling I had when I played Destiny. Great competitive multiplayer. Story-wise, nah. They should have learned their lesson from World of Warcraft and see what a great MMO should consist of. They're trying to create an MMO single-player experience. Create great loot and incentive to play the game. Not repeating the same thing over and over. Alright, so far the music isn't Halo-related. It's more like something I expect from the NFL. But they did say they're going for more of the MLG uh, gaming experience. Which might not be such a good idea because a lot of people complained that Halo 4 was like Call of Duty, which I could see the similarities. They removed the kill cam, but something still remained. But let's see. They said four player. Um, four game mode. Three game modes, seven maps, I believe. Unless I read it wrong. Wait, let's go back. Halo Channel, Spartan Hub. So I guess these are the options we're limited to. Of course, Master Chief's helmet. No ODST helmet. I always pick the ODST. Alright, where are my colors? No, no, no. There it is. And ice. Service tag. Let's see if they let me put my service tag in. Ion. That's a reference to Final Fantasy. If anybody doesn't know. I always tend to pick female because their body is a slender. And to me that makes them a harder target. At least that's to me. Let's see how this is. 
Fire weapon, change weapon. Thruster pack, I know that's the default now. Alright, good, everything is here, but I usually learn on the fly. Like, uh, I let my muscle memory take over after a while. That's why I usually get fucked up whenever I play one multiplayer game and try to play another. Gears of War and going back to Call of Duty is a horrible transition. So I guess I have to open up other playlists, maybe. That's a really cool assassination. He kicks them all down. I would have loved if they allowed us to play the Elites again. I mean... To me, that shouldn't have been scrapped, but I guess elites were a lot easier to kill in Halo 2. That's what a lot of people said because their heads were arched over, so they were at least they were an easier target because Spartans' heads were much back. Their heads were, you know, Homo sapien, and elites their heads were more l arched over, so it made it hard. It actually made it harder to shoot them in the back of the head. So I guess that's why they didn't put them in in Halo or DST. They were like Goliaths. But then again, you were playing with Spartan 4s. I believe they were Spartan 4s. Or Spartan 3s. I can't really remember, which is disappointing because I'm such a Halo nut. But they were so small in comparison. I also really liked Reach, what a lot of people said. Right now I've been playing a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition, Super Smash Bros, Shadow of Mordor was excellent, I did not expect that. I keep timing out, come on, let me get into a fucking match. Oh my god. Seriously, not this crap again. They can't have done, this can't be happening again. This was one of my top reasons this year sucked. Servers, uh, server issues, so many of them, and broken games up the wazoo. Assassin, what's this flashing screen? I know this is a beta and I should expect things like this, but come on. At least let me get out of the damn loading, uh, the first screen. I want to play at least one match. I think I'm going to stop after one match because this is garbage. Again, I understand it's a beta, but the alpha for Evolved ran battle the this. Which was awesome. I mean, this guy's another rank. I can't... I don't really know what that symbol means. It might mean something else. It might be Sergeant. Then again, Sergeant is with the insignia stretching all the way out. This is me just trying to get into one match. I wonder if I get... Look, someone got dropped. And there's the flashing garbage again. I swear I'm going to get a seizure from this. And I got dropped. Again. I wonder if everyone's enduring this tragedy. Of course you can't commute with Halo servers. Okay, I gotta give props to Nintendo. Maybe keeping it simple is the best idea. When Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. Wii U were released, the multiplayer ran fine. Yes, you had some hiccups, but at least you could get into a damn match. Nintendo's actually had a great year. Amiibo sc uh, sales skyrocketed. Even I'm like, I look at them whenever I go into the store, I'm like, maybe I should get one. They have that enticing look to them, maybe because they're so familiar. Like I see Samus, Kirby, Mario. They're just so alluring and well designed. But at the same time, I know that I shouldn't get one because there's really no point. I mean, I have my Sonic one and I'm happy with that one. But the fact that they're releasing uh, rare ones and then releasing... Uh, the ones that they put out of stock as card games, no, not card games, what am I saying, as cards to activate their special properties, it's kind of a douchebag move, it's like, okay, you have to buy every single one because you don't know which one's going to go out of style or out of stock, which is going to skyrocket the price. Right now you have to pay like 50 bucks for a villager amiibo, which isn't that great, I mean, we fit amiibos, 
We fit Amiibo, uh, Villager, who else? Marth, Lucario. Lucario can understand he's a Pokemon, so of course people would love him, but the other three, I doubt anyone really likes him. Actually, Marth they might like because, you know, Fire Emblem, which is a fantastic game. I've been getting into that for the GBA. But regardless, it seems like they were target uh, Amiibos that are not specifically popular. They're probably going to even release various uh, animations of the characters, like, okay, this is Mario Generation 1, this is Mario Generation 2, this is Link Generation 1, this is Link Generation 2. You know, just to keep... Every morning, someone's calling me early in the morning. It's usually for something stupid. I'm not picking up the phone. Screw that. I don't even know who that is. And I'm still loading into this game. What the hell? Didn't these people learn their lesson from the Halo 2? Oh my god. You guys should have learned your lesson from the Master Chief Collection. There are going to be people, lots of people loading into these servers. Why haven't you fixed them? For the love of God. I know I should have, I know this is a Let's Play video and I should be giving my impression, but it's kind of hard when you can't even get into a fucking game. And it's already been like 10 minutes. Dear God, I'm be just pressing one button and there's the flashing again. Back to the Amiibo thing with them releasing several variations of the popular figurines. But I don't see myself buying them unless I really want to. Be a, uh, it would be funny if they released a Bayonetta one. That would be pretty funny. Then again, that was a fantastic game. Wii U, great system because of those games. Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros, Wii U, Bayonetta, which were all... Well, not Mario Kart 8, but the other two were on my top games of this year. Dragon Age and Crucifixion absolutely blew me away. That game is just... It, re it reinvigorated the feeling I had when I was playing Dragon Age Origins. So many possibilities and alterations. I still haven't found what Shale does, the golem from Dragon Age Origins, what you do if you choose to side with her or not side with her with the anvil or, you know, certain decisions, even tiny ones like giving Stan his sword back. But still, Hawk was a great addition. I love that. Maybe they might put that into a... Uh, the next Mass Effect, like if you chose the Renegade and then Mass uh, Shepard comes, because I highly expect Bioware. Not well, Bioware is not making it specifically. It's more of a a different company is making it. But if they make a certain situation, I know they're gonna start the game off like they start off with The Walking Dead. It's gonna be like a completely freshed out storyline. I really hope it's about the Leviathans because they're obviously the next. They should obviously be the next antagonists. Since they said they would take over once the Reapers are gone. And it's been shown that they are very powerful. Even more powerful than the Reapers probably. You never know. But they might create a storyline which starts off. That encompasses all of the other three. Or completely nulls them all together. I would love to see Tally again. And actually see the quarians outside their suit. Instead of a stupid Photoshop picture. But how the hell did I get off such a track? And maybe it's because I'm just trying to freaking start this thing. Maybe I should just restart my entire console and try again. There's another phone call. Oh, it actually tells you how many maps are here. Two maps, flare. Let's go. I would love to go if you would freaking let me into a game. How many people are playing this? It's, it has to be a lot if they're having service issues this severe. Or maybe it's just me, but I didn't have any problems getting into a match with Titanfall. That's another game that ran smoothly. I just played Titanfall in it from day one and it still worked very well. Again, some hiccups here and there, but nothing spectacular. How do I keep getting dropped? There are clearly people who are playing this. How are you updating playlists? There's only one fucking game type. A 
I swear to God, I'm just gonna quit. This is not... Not good at all. This is probably what's gonna happen when the game is finally released. Halo 5 Guardians. Not working multiplayer. Oh, you have to wait another two months while we fix the fucking server's issues. Oh, here's an apology. We're sorry. That's actually something I might expect from other future developers. Like, something doesn't work, they're just gonna offer us an apology. Like, oh, here's some free content. We're sorry. They lose money off the content, but still, that's a really douchebag thing. It's like how the criminal justice system is established. Someone commits a crime and they say, oh, bail out. Here's, uh, pay this fund and you're bailed out. You still have to go to trial and everything, but still. Okay, I'm comparing two very severe things for no reason. I'm just angry right now. This should not be happening from such a large and notorious company like Microsoft at 343. I expect this from indie developers, no offense, but, you know, indie developers are small, but... This from, a From such a established game, uh, established franchise... It just shouldn't happen. I know a lot of people are going to give me, oh, this is a beta. I already established that this should at least be working. A working beta that allows you to get into a game. I've been trying for the last 15 minutes and got nothing. You guys have just been hearing me sprout about pointed things like Nintendo Amiibos and other things that you probably don't want to listen to. You just want to see me play and die a lot in this game. Even though I play a lot of Halo, but I know I'm going to get my ass kicked. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to try to reload this thing. But the thing about this... Uh, uh, the Microsoft system that I have to... What am I... I'm just angry. The Xbox interface is that I have to load something completely different. So, you know what? I'm going to load this to Halo Master Chief Collection. Which also still doesn't work. If it doesn't work by the 20 minute mark, I'm just going to leave. I'm still going to post the video, but it's just going to be me completely frustrated, flabbergasted, and just upright annoyed. Yes, I know where you guys come from, Microsoft Game Studios. Now let me play the freaking game. So, we replaced matchmaking issues with long load time issues. This is absolutely invigorating. I'm having so much fun, can't you tell? I'm getting to play Halo 5 multiplayer beta. With tremendous issues. None of there in there tells you about, hey, you may not be able to get into the actual game. Okay, let's see. Maybe finally I'll get into a game. Come on, don't kick me out.
the calm before the storm. Will I get into the game? I wish I should, I should put the Jeopardy theme in the background, but you know, YouTube. They'll immediately, immediately flag my video. But they're probably going to flag this video too. They flag everything I put up unless I properly dispute it or get a consent from the developers, which take from the publishers, which takes forever. You don't really need consent from the developers, you need it from the publishers. Dear God, this is probably even worse than the attempting to get into a multiplayer game. Why did my mic thing flash? It's not even connected. Can I leave? I can't leave. So I'm stuck. Yep, I'm definitely stuck. Alright, time to load up Minecraft. And then reload the beta. Alright, there we go. Now the beta comes back. I wish they would put a freaking option that allows you to reset the game. Again, through the loading process. Reminds me of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Where you have to go through that entire sequence of watching those videos before you can actually play. Which they should definitely make. I'm still waiting for a Conker game, a good Banjo-Kazooie game. Microsoft owns a lot of properties that they just don't use. And I'm afraid Minecraft might be, might be one of them. They're probably going to release Minecraft 2. And do what they did with one of the patches. Make it exclusive to Xbox. I really doubt they're going to continue to patch the original Minecraft. They are definitely going to make, release a second Minecraft. It's going to be with the patch update notes. I know a lot of people are going to be vexed about that, but you know, they're a company. If they want to make more money, they're going to have to release content targeted to their platform. Yes, they said they'll continue to support the other versions, but hey, you want to make money? You want to play Minecraft with this new pet texture pack, you better get an Xbox One or an Xbox 360 and pay for it. So you have to buy a game over again, and you have to get everything over again. Uh, it's always going to be a hassle. I do own a PS4 anyway, so I do enjoy playing that a lot more, especially since a lot of this stuff comes with the system, especially a charger pack. I have to buy one for this. But then again, it saves me on batteries. Alright, let's try this again. It's been 20 minutes and I still haven't gotten into a single game. Wow, that was like a giant middle finger to my face. It's a setting up match and everything except actually showing the players. And it still didn't go through. Shocking. Man, I really want to get... I actually want to stop playing this and just go back to Super Smash Bros. At least that works. Maybe. Just maybe I'll get into a game. That flashing is never a good sign. Well, it has instead discovered it less than 20 minutes ago. Well, more than 20 minutes ago. It's 22 minutes. Dear God, come on. Let me play. Or just put me in a match alone so I can actually see the map. Anything. I'll set it for just a loading screen now. Give me something. F 
finally, oh my god. 23 minutes. Control power weapons really? We already know that. There's our football team. That's grenade. I can aim. It's not inverted. Oh shit, I am so screwed. I just stole that kill. Beautiful. Oh my god. The kill cam's back. I know a lot of people are gonna bitch about that now. Oh, I like that. We grabbed the sniper rifle. Oh, I got the sniper rifle, which is probably a horrible idea. What's the second, though? How do I melee? This is crouch? What the fuck is this bullshit? I am so crappy in this game. Okay, so what's melee? That's melee. You gotta be kidding me. I keep forgetting this is not my... I just keep forgetting all the buttons. This is so different from other Halo games. It's like, okay, jump, reload, switch weapon. At least those are all the same. That's thruster pass. That's melee. I guess that's my health. Controls really fucked me up. Like literally, they fucked me up. Like, <laughs> aiming has never been a part of Halo, so that's really what's been fucking me up. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you played any of the other Halo games and you come into this, you're gonna be fucked. Like, immediately out the boat fucked. My look sensitivity sucks. This, I'm telling you, right out the board does not play like Halo whatsoever. This is like, I don't know what this is. This is Call of Duty made to hide it all. Not in a good way right now. I can't even get one freaking kill.
can run and reload? What kind of bullshit is that? They focus on mobility, but you can run and reload. The guy wasn't even aiming at me. I guess I'm the only one in this match right now. Yeah, I am. I should just leave. First game. Not so great. These controls... Yeah, definitely not Halo. 100% not Halo. I don't know whether to be excited or disappointed because... I know I sucked, but I expected it to play like Halo. It does not play like Halo. I'm saying Halo a lot. I should stop. I know people are going to give me a lot of trash because it's easy to critique than it is to, you know, support, but... I know I sucked. I sucked really badly. But why the hell is melee not the... God. Let me check if I can change this. Okay, hopefully my controls will work a little better. I doubt it. It took me at least 25 minutes just to get into a match, and then I got my ass kicked, and then I found out this does not play like Halo at all. Now I just spent a good two minutes trying to fiddle through the controls to make sure I can get something at least adequate. Two people with the same name. Alright, hopefully I get a different map. I just want to see it. I know I'm going to get my ass kicked. Guess not. Control power weapons to dominate the enemy team.
he has a spawn. I forgot that gun, man, that's rough. That's a grenade. Hey, my teammates are getting decimated. are just so damn weird. I didn't have any teammates that follow me. I don't understand that. You would think that one red dot would alert the entire team to that position. Charge in. What would be the I don't get it, which is thruster. Oh, that's a powerful melee attack. Okay, now I get it. You guys should be helping him. We've got a sniper rifle. Sniper's up. Power weapons are up. You guys, I don't know if it's hard. Okay, so that's how you bolt. Okay, two against one. Three against one. He may be losing, but at least I'm doing better than my last game. Improved small grand crew of victories. Grenade! I keep forgetting because that's not the armor ability. That's been in Halo, every other Halo game. Hey, I'm not doing... Seriously. Wow, that's a fail if I ever saw one. Not for my team. Sniper rifle in 30 seconds. Our weapons in 30 seconds. I keep forgetting the right thumbstick is not aim. It's no longer aim. Come on, Adam. Just because it was that way in every other Halo game doesn't mean it's going to be in this Halo game. Sniper rifles on the field. Power weapons are up. 
got a sniper rifle. How long does my shield take to regenerate? Man, shields take a thousand years to regenerate. Game over. Defeat. Unless there's something I'm not figuring out. Oh, they're not randomizing ma- That is a fantastic idea. They don't randomize player counts. So if there's a team with a superior player, they can continue to roll on to the next match. It's exactly what Battlefield Bad Company 2 used to do. Oh, I should have never quit because there is a long loading screen. Dear God. I don't know what they were thinking about switching the aim button, but okay. Uh, this is going to take several hours. So far, I am not pleased. This is just not Halo. This is purely a game for MLG uh, esports. It's definitely not for the common person. Well, not common person, but definitely not for the Halo fan. I know I'm going to sound like such a fanboy, but at least Halo 4 played somewhat like Halo. This one, not at all. I don't even know what to call this. I mean, you have the Spartans, but that's exactly, that's all that's there. Some of the weapons even carry the Halo feel, but the gameplay does not. I guess that's evolution for you. And again, the mobility system, it's welcoming, but it's not nowhere near as good as Titanfalls. And plus controls, dear god, I don't know what the hell. I'm sure I'll get used to it after several games, but this, it's just... I'm so used to the Halo control scheme that this one's so foreign to me. Again, right now, I just don't know what the grenade button is. I can't climb through a door. I'm gonna get that the lock. Wow, why is it take forever to this? How the hell did he do that? Got it. 
Shit, I'm by myself. I'm stuck. Really, he's not dead. Oh, and that guy spawned right in front of me. Sniper rifle in 30 seconds. Our weapons in 30 seconds. Lost the lead. Lost the lead. Okay, I'm by myself. Run. Sniper in 10. Power weapons in 10 seconds. We've got a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle's ready. Power weapons are up. I'm still getting used to these controls that man. I had a lot longer than I thought it was. That guy has a grenade launcher. Okay, I think I got the controls down. I got my ass kicked. Oh, I'm doing a lot better. Improvement. Sniper rifle at 30. Our weapons at 30 seconds. We're going to be in blue base. Ten kills. 
kills to win. Sorry about that guys, my audio card out, so this is gonna be the final match whether I won or lost, but I won the last match, so hopefully I win this one, but so far, yeah, it doesn't play like Halo, disappointed about that, plays like Titanfall mixed with Call of Duty, but neither one of them does that spectacularly. I don't want the sniper rifle, if you're not good with a weapon, I say you leave it. That guy was better than me. And he had the battle rifle, which sucked. What I used to do with power weapons is I used to uh, pick them up and waste them so neither team could get them. Which I guess in its way was smart, but maybe I'm just trying to justify my actions. Crap, what's melee? That's melee. I feel see bullets flying, but I don't see any enemy players. Why is my shield not regenerating? Do I have to stay still? I have to stay still. It took me three games to figure that out. No! I almost had him! Can you, you know, help him? Oh my god, I could've gotten an assassination there. Dear god, come on. I had to pull this out of my ass and stop being such a loser. Damn. Stop moving the regenerate shield. Oh, they have a little icon on top that shows you how long till your shield regenerates. 
And he's got a sniper rifle. And of course he can he didn't even have to aim at my head to shoot my head off. Lost one, blew back out. Sniper rifle on 30. Power weapons at 30 seconds. Enemy going wild. You should definitely not shoot my target. That is a stupid idea. Why the opposing team is so always well coordinated while my team yeah if you see me shooting in one direction maybe you should turn and shoot in that direction just out of curiosity of course that's i keep forgetting that's not boost Wow, he got a double kill. I wonder why that guy wasn't shooting his gun. <laughs> that guy purposely ran up there just to get killed. There's no way he was thinking that through. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this game. Why do people ever think it's three dimensions? I mean, it's easy. I'm getting quadruple teams every time. You know what they should do is a stiff leg mechanic for his campers. Like if they stay in a position for too long, that their legs or the character movement completely deteriorates. Like if you stay in one position for too long, your character does moves at 50% speed. You rush out there. Take forever to reload. Oh, of course. This guy right there are campers. That if there was friendly fire, he would be dead. What do you mean he saved me? I saved him. I'm not stupid enough to stand there against two one. Gotta think like Titanfall, not Halo. This is not Halo anymore. Enemy in red yard. I got, got an assassination. Five minutes remain. Oh wow. Why can't I have a team like that? I mean, seriously, why can I ever ha I never have a team like that that always has my back like them? Like, that guy ran all the way to his team and still succeeded. So, yeah, not Halo anymore.
Definitely not Halo. I lost my last match, lost three matches, won one. Which I improved though. That's the good thing at least. But like I said, this is more about mobility and I don't know. It doesn't move as quick as I thought it would, but at the same time it doesn't move the same way as Halo. My final verdict, not Halo anymore. They've completely gone to a different path. This is definitely not for people just to get up and play. This is meant for MLG sports. Like, I, This is definitely not going to be my get up, my go-to game for multiplayer. Like Halo 4 and Halo 3, 2, all the other Halo games were my go-to multiplayer game whenever I was bored. This one most likely won't be it. Right now, Titanfall is my go-to multiplayer game, and whatever Respawn Entertainment does in the future may be my next go-to game. This right here is probably going to play the single player, maybe some multiplayer, and then end it there. Perhaps the game might improve by then, but for now, it is not the game I remember, or even the game I played when the last game I played. Nowhere close. So there is Halo, uh, Halo 5 Guardians. You can download it now. It runs until the January 18th, I believe. Two matches. Uh, like I said here, I'm just going to read it right here. Slayer match, two maps, Truth and Empire. I was only able to play Empire because, you know, reasons. But anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos from me and Adam.